Welcome back to an exciting episode of Dingle and Dongle Take Out the Trash. And this time, it's for real. <laughs> the bet for three are gonna go for this time, it's personal. <laughs> uh, you know something I really hate is just like when you go back and forth between like a bunch of different ca games where like you have control over the camera, you know, like. And then, like, he, so you, like, you play one game where it's normal, so, like, tilting the stick left makes the camera go left and tilting oh, the stick... Oh, and then, and and then you go to inverted? Yeah, exactly. Like, when I was playing, like, just before this, like, the, the camera controls were, like, inverted. Yeah. Right? I think they were normal. Yeah, I was playing the Harry Potter games. Yeah. He's going through them. It's his favorite games. <laughs> he, he's going trying to, to say something about my intelligence boy he's going to um if you check out xl paradigm gamers channel uh for the next seven days every day is going to be releasing a full review of each of the harry potter games all seven N don't promise something i can't deliver like i don't even and if he doesn't you angry mobs angry mobs and angry mobs and... are the answer yes Sorry very angry that. That mobs fun. they will Clean up your attitude. <laughs> ha. Ha. Mop joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should tell them that um, corn maze joke you told me the other day. Oh yeah, I, I think that joke is pretty amazing. Anyway, <laughs> have you ever thought you know how there's corn mazes, right? And maze is also another name for corn. So if you really think about it, okay, that was a glitch. That was a like glitch. It's like corn squared. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> All right, I guess I already hit. This. Sorry, folks, we're doing this in like a, like a completely different session. We haven't played this game in like a week because you know it's not exactly you no know, the thing that I just absolutely rushed to go play. You know. <laughs> That's obviously uh, Harry Potter episode three or four. Which one was your favorite game? Well, I suppose you you people have to wait until his reviews come out to find out. <laughs> um, just for clarification's sake, I'm not currently working on any such thing, and Eric is a fucking liar. <laughs> but I digress. Uh, um, I get it. You're trying to surprise him. I get. I, I see oh, your I, game, I you maverick renegade. When it's like really awkward too, because like you can, because you like have to hold the Y button with like your top ring finger. Oh oh, and I fell. Now I've got to climb all the way back up. Cut. It out. Woo. I like how sparks is like a little bubble. Micro that the Jiglo was a happy, happy <laughs> woman with a corn. Big long cock and a fucking nose. <laughs> oh my god. And Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, I am swimming in midair. Of, of whatever. <laughs> I swear I did not do this on purpose. <laughs> but it is going to make my life so much easier. Come here, come here little <laughs> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> How easy you think this game would be if you could just fly everywhere? I, yeah, you can't. You can't. I can't use my bubble breath. I'm sure if you go back in the water and then come back out, it'll work. Well, I can grab my gems. <laughs> I guess. Can I break this? Yes, I can. Man. All right. This is very dishonest of you. <laughs> what? Abusing glitches that I can't even abuse because I can't fucking do anything while I'm under the water. But seriously, um, I do not remember this game being this glitchy, at all. Son of a glitch. <laughs> I mean, like, I never thought it was, like, the best Spyro game ever or anything, but I, you know, I remember it being better than this. Like, I, like as I've, I've told you people before, yes, this was my first Spyro game, but what I spent most of my childhood playing was, like, the Game Boy Advance ones. And, um, I've played all the PS1 games, and I like them all. And, you know, at the same... I thought I destroyed that. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's try to avoid falling into the damn... ...thing this time. Okay, can I... ...hit that from this distance? I hope like this is harder than it looks. <laughs> 
That doesn't. You are terrible. There we go. That's good. Ouch! <laughs> Ouch. I, I can't there. hear anything, so. Yeah, I have. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Fucking bubbles! At any rate, let's see if I can. Oh, I see what you. <laughs> it's like in the way! Man. Excellent level design there. Check 6 slash Equinox Entertainment. Though I really should be blaming Universal Interactive Studios for the craptastic nature of this game. <laughs> hey, we caught Homer! Oh! <laughs> that was some good uh, I'm not back. clever enough to make an Odyssey, Odyssey joke <laughs> out of it. <laughs> hey there. Hey there, partner. <laughs> Alrighty. So, Eric, uh, what have you been up to recently? On the Vitero games. On the Vitero Oh, you have useless breath equipped. <laughs> How else would you catch dragonflies? Well, walking up to them and just touching them would be nice. You know, like <laughs> all the other collectibles from the first three games. Bug catching net breath. But I digress. <laughs> I mean, like even catching the fireflies in a um, season of fire or yeah. season of flame for the GBA, it was just like you breathe the ice breath on them, which you could also use as an attack. Whereas with the bubble breath here, it's the bubble breath is useless. Like the, it doesn't have very good hit detection, so half the time, like the. The freaking dragonflies will just like escape and then you have to spend like three minutes chasing them. <laughs> Except for the ones that just stay put for some reason. I'm telling you. Dragonfly net breath. <laughs> it just like I mean, you, a dragonfly you net not, just like flies out of his mouth and catches it. You amazing. have not mentioned this before. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> that that sounds amazing. I'm inventing it. I'm inventing <laughs> it. The problem is, it's I like how do I take this good idea, right? Yeah. And adapt it from dragons to humans. <laughs> so I'll, I'll need to I need to hire the world's leading scientist to figure out dragonfly net breath. Don't I think, think this you... game is turning me stupid. <laughs> Don't you think you should be using your inventive talents for something a little more practical? What's not like practical about world? a dragonfly net breath? <laughs> if people could catch what dragonflies is... by shooting nets out of their mouth, Dog. then they could Fuck. catch dragonflies and eat them, and therefore it'd solve world hunger. Done. Easy. One Whatever world problem in the bank. Say. Give me another world problem. I bet I can figure out a way that it dragonfly net breath fixes it. Let's hear it. Okay. Um... How about the nuclear, the deepening nuclear crisis surrounding nuclear Iran? Nuclear crisis. How I surrounding would, what? Surrounding Iran. Hmm. Well, you yeah. see, if 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 people who wanted to use said babs to blow up things, right? Are you following? You are off to a terrific start. No, listen, here. listen, listen. Are you following? Yes. Okay. Keep on blabbering. <laughs> so the reason, what, what, what's, what's the reason they want to blow up stuff, right? Well, really, it's for um, deterrence. It's, it's a means. It's, it's supposed to help. It's supposed to help keep Iran. They're doing it because they want other countries to take them seriously. Because like. Okay, I'm sorry. An entire race of people who can spit dragonfly nets out of their mouth isn't isn't frightening. <laughs> no. <laughs> if I would, okay, if I'm walking down the street, right? I'm fucking. Hi, right. I'm Daisy. <laughs> All right, listen, listen. I'm I'm walking I'm walking down Wonder Street past Cinderella's Castle or whatever the fuck at, in Disneyland, right? And I, Mickey Mouse I'm... walks by, right? All the kids are like, yeah, yeah it's. it's it's Mickey Mouse, and he's like, ha -ha. and then he spits a giant fucking dragonfly <laughs> net out of his mouth. What is the difference between? Are you gonna be like, holy shit? What is the difference That's between awesome. a dragonfly? Or are you gonna run the hell away because a giant mouse just? Okay, spat he just <laughs> sped up while he was climbing the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like sorry. he accelerated to super speed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you trying to change the subject here? When I have you in oh, a, I'm I'm sorry. I have you, you in a you logical bind. <laughs> Just admit that, that I was if right. That's what and you, you want. Sure, Eric, you are right, and I am wrong. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Now, if you excuse me, I wanted to download that and use it as my ringtone. <laughs> yeah, well, that's 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 assuming that you remember to watch the part. 
Well, hold on one moment. And we're back. <laughs> Eric had to take a shit again. Mm -hmm. The only thing taking a shit was... The frame rate? <laughs> um, for a moment there? People who consume too many dragonfly net breath ammo. <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> you think that's much funnier than it is. You love you so looked. therefore, it's going on the scroll. <laughs> it's going off. It's supposed to be going off the scroll. Cause like, yeah, I've got that off my bucket list of stupid jokes. <laughs> no, cause it's a good joke. <laughs> See, this is exactly what you told me the last time we had this conversation. So that what that tells me is that we've made no progress. I'm sorry. I think, <laughs> if anything, what are, what are you gonna say now? I, I'm so <laughs> curious. <laughs> this I think... is going. This is going to be amazing, isn't it? Yes. Okay, okay, go on. Go on. Tell me. What do you want to say? I think that in terms of progress, you should become a prostitute. Really? Yep. That's it. Um, Aren't you going to ask me what? to explain my logic? Sure, by all means, go right. Go okay, all right. So get this: the reason we, we're we're doing this right now, we're playing this game, right? We're recording it. We're we're. I'm saying stupid things. You're insulting no, me for doing stupid, stupid things. things. Yes, the, yes, indeed. Pickety, all we're do? we're only doing this for the cash, you know, the cash money, which will eventually lead to the drugs and the hose, right? Yes. That's clearly the only reason we're doing this is to be billionaires, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, so. What would attract more attention to our channel than if we renamed it to, um, let's... Michael... <laughs> Michael the Prostitute plays... blank, right? <laughs> what, would, what would attract more attention than that? In fact, that's what I want you to name this episode. Don't even say Spyro and the Dragon. <laughs> just say Michael the Prostitute well, if we do plays... That, I like how Spyro can just grab in that wall because there are ridges drawn onto it. Yes. The fact that any dragon could, you know, climb. Don't change the subject, this is important. If you want to get the cash money in the hose, you gotta sell your body. That's it. That's that's <laughs> the fact. That's just the fact. Oh, you mean like an IGN review? <laughs> <laughs> I believe... I believe they're, they're the equivalent to soul prostitutes. <laughs> they sort of rent it out. Oh, to uh, various corporations. Yeah, like Activision with their call of fuck cock. Are you kidding me? Best game of all time. In fact, that's going to be the first Let's Play on Michael Sells His Body, the, the Let's Play channel. <laughs> you know, that name just keeps growing on me. <laughs> it rolls right off the tongue. <laughs> Michael the whore who sells his body because he is a prostitute because he wants money to kill. Hey, it's Scuttlebutt. <laughs> <laughs> is that the only one named Scuttlebutt? Because I could have swore there was like other dragonfly I think button in this game. No, there's only the one. But uh, what my guess would be is that the last time I played this you were probably watching me and then like you saw it's just like the dragonfly's name is Scuttlebutt. <laughs> Maybe it's like randomized or something. Um I don't I wanna say it's not. I mean like I could go watch someone else's let's play and see, but <laughs> I don't care. Only that much. only if their channel has anything to do with male prostitution. Otherwise, I, like most people, okay, would this... not be interested. I think... I think your Michael prostitution idea is very stupid and dumb. Everybody weigh in the comments. <laughs> if you'd like to see Michael... <laughs> okay! Like, comment, and okay. subscribe! <laughs> <laughs> um... I think this conversation... Okay, are all of them named after, like, classical poets? Of course they are, Michael. Like the classic, classical poet Scuttlebutt <laughs> of the 19th era of the 19th dynasty of China. <laughs> and unto his people, Scuttlebutt said, <laughs> whatever annoying sound the dragonflies make. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a lot like most of Daxter's dialogue. Heyo! <laughs> but I digress. Everybody click this link that's the shape of Michael's face, but <laughs> turned inside out in sepia. Stop! 
<laughs> floating gently across the screen from the upper left to the lower right. <laughs> and there's an annotation following it. Okay, look, I did I did your dick annotation thing for you, but not this. Wait, my dick annotation? Yeah, like, you're just like, okay, so for the, this annotation, it's gonna be shaped like a dick, but it's not gonna be, like, so obvious, like, it's the sort of thing you look at and you go, <laughs> oh, can that be... No, it couldn't when be. Did, when did I do this? I get, I get mixed up with all the... It should the probably be things. in the part I release tomorrow at the time of this recording. Is it a Spiro is... part? Yeah. Oh. oh, okay. Part four, I think. Dill. Hey, um, if you want to see that episode, click on this annotation. That's the shape right. of this... Um, but it's... The normal size the of the level? pig. That was it. And it's this time, right? And it's okay. also um. Okay, maybe. It, what if? No, I'm not even listening to you right now, right? Uh, okay, that's fine. But editor Michael will hear that, and he has no choice. He can't. No he choice. He can't not no. try it. You hear me, editor Michael? You don't try fucking coming for you. I might even be there while you're editing. So if if I'm there while you're How editing, how many am I missing? Um. How oh, nice! It forgot to load the actual book part. <laughs> what, what I was the, like, what the hell is going? I on? thought for a moment that it was glitched and I couldn't do anything. Jeez. <laughs> Can you open the? Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, I press. All right. Let's see. Um, I'm missing five of them. You're missing 45, aren't you? Of the gems. Was I? It looked like it. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah, 45. No, yeah, you're right. There's a chunk of level design I missed then. That's what that <laughs> tells me. Oh, wait, wait. Did, what? Did you mean to do that? No. Cut! And we realized in between, um... Warping to another level out of fucking nowhere that... Yeah, we, this part has gone on long enough, so we'll see you guys next time, and we're going to start exploring the sub-areas of Luau Island. Yep, so sub-areas, we'll... $5 foot long.